The National Energy Board approved energy transport company Enbridge's plan to reverse the flow and increase the capacity of the Line 9 pipeline that runs between Sarnia and Montreal. The NEB made their decision after holding public hearings in the fall. Now, of course, Hugh Morin of the Ontario Petroleum Institute made a case in support of the reversal. Since the line will now be servicing refineries in Ontario and Quebec with more Canadian UBI's oil, he says it will be better for the economy. We felt that it was important for the industry to get involved to support that project so our companies could have market choice. It would enable our companies, if necessary, to be able to move their product to uh, an alternative buyer. Line 9 originally shuttled oil eastward, but was reversed in the late 90s in response to market conditions. It's an interesting exercise because really it's only being, it's being reversed back to what it was originally set up for. But it's not just a reversal. The pipeline will now carry an increased load of crude oil and bitumen, which is a sticky fuel distilled from crude. Chief Joe Muskokamon of the Chippewa of the Thames First Nation worries that the pipeline's aging infrastructure will not stand up to the increased load. I'm not so certain that I trust a 40-year-old pipeline, particularly with bitumen crude. Muskokamon submitted a case against the reversal, but his argument goes beyond environmental and safety concerns. It has to do with constitutional rights. The National Energy Board goes out and holds hearings. We never signed a treaty with the National Energy Board. We signed it with the Crown. And therefore, we expect <clears throat> the dialogue to take place is between the government-to-government -government relationship that we have. Muskokamon says if he had more say, he'd ask for a strengthening of the line, despite more than 100,000 gallons of oil that burst from an Enbridge pipeline in the Kalamazoo River in Michigan in 2010, the company maintains that safety is its top priority. And the NEB's decision to greenlight the reversal was made with certain conditions Enbridge must meet, such as managing cracks in the pipeline. There were legitimate concerns raised. Uh, we fully expect Enbridge will meet their commitments and responsibilities with regard to pipeline safety. But for Muskokamon, the political battle is far from being over. They didn't actually address our argument. And so we still maintain the position that until we have that dialogue, it's illegal. Legal or not, oil is already flowing eastward through the line from Sarnia to northwest of Hamilton. But with many concerns about the pipeline, not every phase of this reversal will flow smoothly. For Western Report, I'm Tiffany Pope.